Hey Ryan, so you've been working on this for like 25 years? <laughs> uh, yes, we've been working on this for a while. We're really excited to, to show you. I know we let you behind the curtain a little early because we wanted some, some insights from some people that have a lot of experience in kayaks. And so um, you've been a part of the Circle of Trust for a while. You've done a really good job of keeping it under wraps. And here we are. I'm really excited to unveil it to the world. It's the brand new Old Town. Wait, wait, hold on. Ah! This boat, we had it on the water. We didn't catch a fish. That's his fault. But we're going to get back there again. Now, I want to give you guys a full walkthrough. And I know about this boat, but we have the one and only Ryan here. Hey everybody, good to see you again. Thanks for tuning in to AliX's channel. Really excited to share with you this brand new boat within the Old Town Sportsman line called the Old Town Sportsman Big Water EPDL Plus 132. Why this boat's so special is it is a manual pedal drive, but there are other ways you can use it. It also has pedal e-assist and it has fully motorized cruise control. So that means you can manually pedal it, pedal it with assist almost like an e-bike, as well as hit a button and it becomes a full cruise control motorized feet off the pedal experience. It's awesome. I'll start right up at the front of the boat, kind of give you a full walkthrough. So it probably looks familiar to a lot of you that have tuned into Alex's channel and know anything about Old Town. This is based off of our Old Town Big Water platform. It's 13 feet, two inches. It's got a usable capacity of 437 pounds. That means human and gear can fit in this up to 437 pounds. Has an enormous front bow hatch here for keeping things dry while you're out on the water. Mounting plates in front of the drive for whatever you'd like to mount there. We also have these hybrid track plate mounting systems on either side of the kayak that allow you to run T-bolt accessories or you can drill into the plate. They are removable, they're consumable. So if you wanted to buy a few extras of these and run different uh, accessories, you can buy a couple different plates from us and modify and plug and play as you go. There's pocketing underneath the gunnels here for soft plastics, snacks, pliers, whatever you'd like to store up in the cockpit with you. And because this is a part of the Old Town Sportsman line, it has all the same hallmarks of the Old Town Sportsman line. You've got padded floors, comfortable breathable seat, at least one forward facing rod holder. You also have accessory tracks and each of the models come with a branded tackle box that includes like your paddle clip, your kill switch, all the other things that you need to get this up and running when you buy it. So going behind the adjustable seat, there's an access port. I'm gonna come back to the drive, by the way. I probably You probably are all wondering why I'm glazing over that. I'm gonna come back and spend some time talking about the drive, so we'll get there. But because this is a mechanized, electric-powered pedal drive system, it operates using a 36-volt, 20-amp-hour battery that's good for thousands of charges that will last a long time as long as you take good care of it. It comes included with the battery, and we've designed it a, a kayak battery cradle underneath the seat here that houses your battery. So it doesn't go anywhere. It's also removable. So if you wanted to take the battery and battery cradle out and run it like a standard PDL drive and you wanted to access your hull, you're able to remove that as well. Because this is a big water hull, you'll notice that it largely looks the same, but this particular model has some updates that I'd like to call out. One of which is this deepened cup holder. You can't really tell on camera, but this cup holder is deeper than in the big water. And then you'll notice that the stern tank well is a lot bigger. We took the accessory tracks off the back. There's still areas where you can mount accessory tracks if you'd like, but we wanted to create a lot more room because I know everybody's running large tackle crates, large coolers, catch bags, things like that. So we wanted to make more room for you to bring whatever you want out on the water with you. So we blew this out. The other subtle change that we made on this versus the big water is we took the shallow water anchoring location, which used to be here, and on this particular model, we moved it offset from the rudder. So now you can stow and deploy your rudder. It won't inter interfere with your power pole or your manual stakeout pole that you mount off this place here. Why this boat in this hull is so special is it's in the name. It's great in big water applications. So if you're fishing tidal waters like I do up in Maine, you're fishing rivers, you're fishing big windy lakes, this hull cuts right through and does a really good job of maneuvering big water conditions. So that's why we felt that it was important to introduce the EPDL drive into this particular hull. All right, so let's talk about the EPDL drive. This is largely the same drive as our normal PDL drive from the pedals down. So it looks a lot like 
our standard PDL drive, and that's because basically from the motor head down, it's all the same drive. So it's still very durable. It's backed by a two year warranty. It's salt water safe and ready. So you're able to uh, rinse this off, keep the prop clear, and this thing will last you for years. You just wanna make sure to take care of it. We did update, and this is a subtle change. We went from the steel nut and we replaced it with a washer and nut that you're able to, to remove with your hand. And if you can't remove it with your hand, you can use the kill switch key that becomes a prop wrench. You're able to remove your, your prop nut a lot easier than having to carry a tool with you to do it. So that's a nice change. But all right, let's talk about the drive. What's great about this drive is it operates just like our standard PDL drives. You pedal it forward to go forward, backward to go backward, salt water ready, like I said, has the same access pod that allows it to float if you drop it in the water. And it's the same pull as our big water PDL. So it looks very, very similar when you're down in the actual cockpit itself. What's really special is what's going on here. So if you come in here, Alex, you'll see that it has a screen. And this screen right here is a polarized lens ready display. So you can see it in the, in the, in the daylight. I'm gonna turn it on here. So you hit the power button. Oh, I gotta put the kill switch key in. Put the kill switch key in that's attached to you. Hit the power button. You'll see that Old Town pops up, cycle through the warning screen, and it's in level zero, zero right now, which means that you're manually pedaling this thing. So even if this is off or if it's in level zero, it's a manual pedal drive. It's not until you start applying some level of speed assist, then it becomes a, a motorized assist pedal. So like when you're, like what we did before we got off the water for lunch, we're in a tidal estuary right now. So it's impacted by tides. When we're coming home, we're going against the tides. If you don't want to put in a lot of effort working against the tides, you can apply pedal assist. And like an e-bike going up a hill, you're able to apply that pedal assist and not exhaust yourself while going against the wind or going against the current. So you have up to five levels of that. You're probably wondering how fast this thing goes. When you're in speed level five, it will go up to five miles an hour. Now there's a lot of impact there with wind and current, how much you weigh, how much stuff you have with you, but in perfect conditions, no wind, flat water, no current, it can get up to five miles per hour. Now, let's say you wanna stop pedaling, but you still want this to work, you can hit cruise control, take your feet off the pedals, then it becomes a fully motorized pedal kayak, and the pedals stop moving, take your feet off, and away you go, and it's a fully motorized kayak. So. That's how that works. It's really exciting. It's gonna change the way you approach waters. Why I love this, again, I fish in Maine. I do a lot of fishing in Florida too. I fish a lot of salt water, a lot of tides, a lot of big water, a lot of um, tidal water, rivers, things like that. And what's great is when I'm not in my autopilot and when I'm in a pedal drive, it still requires some work, working against those conditions. Now, I can fish a lot longer without getting tired, or I can go further knowing that I've got a pedal assist or a cruise control function and I can take my feet off and take a break while my kayak still goes. You know, you're probably asking yourself how long the battery lasts. Well, I'm glad you asked. Because it's a lithium ion battery on a full charge, if you're in speed level five on this drive and in cruise control, so you're not actually pedaling it and the motor's doing all the work, on a full charge, on a healthy battery, you'll get up to three hours of continuous battery life out of this. Now, if you fish like me, you know that you're not fully in cruise control or fully motorizing all the time. You, you slow down, you fish, you break down the waters. You're not gonna be in speed level five all day long. Because that's the case, and because you'll be doing some human powered, some pedal assist and some motorized, you're gonna get a lot more battery life than three hours out of it. Unless again, you're just out for a pleasure cruise and you're not gonna do any work. To add some perspective, if you are knock that back down to speed level three, in cruise control, which is about three miles an hour, give or take. The motor's doing all the work, you'll get upwards of 20 or more hours of battery life. So you can see where just impacting it by two miles an hour will lengthen that battery life a lot. Try to think about the way that you get out on the water. You get out there to fish and to explore and you're not always gonna be using the motor. Sometimes you're gonna be using the motor, sometimes you're gonna be using the e-assist and sometimes you're gonna be manually pedaling this thing. So from my personal experience, I get a day or more of battery life. If you're out there for a really long time and you forgot to top off your battery and it dies, it's still a manual pedal drive and you can pedal home. So this is really awesome. It's changed the way I fish. I love it for striper fishing. I love it for fishing for snook down in Florida because and I can go further, go all day, let the kayak take up some of the burden of pedaling against the tides and the currents. It's a really fun experience. So how much is this bro? The boat retails and it ships with 
not only the drive, but the lithium ion battery as well. You know who makes that battery? The who best, makes? the best amp outdoor lithium batteries. Yes, that's you know? right. Yeah. Well, you don't need it for this boat because it lasts three days, but if you have another boat and you need a battery, Fish Finder, use coupon code Alias5, we're going to save you 5%. Awesome. <laughs> oh, so, wait, 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 wait. So, yeah. what happens if you, something happens, this thing goes crazy, you're about to hit the, the mangrove, what, what yeah. do you do? So, let's say uh, you come into a shallow, you hit a boulder. Again, the drive's super durable, but this thing's set up with two kill switch locations. You've got one that attaches to you and plugs in beside your seat. So if you fall out of the boat, that will uh, turn the motor off immediately. It is a uh, cutoff switch. But we also have another cutoff switch built into the pod itself right here. And if this has a hard impact on the ground or like oyster beds or rock or something like that, and it does cause the drive to come up into the hull at all, it will kill that connection as well. And again, it will just shut it down. You redeploy the drive. You power it back up and you're ready to go. And let's say you're you're going fast and you want to stop the motor, you can also pedal backwards and that will disengage the motor and start it back at zero and then you can get going again. So it still has that forward and reverse uh, ability and the reverse again will stop the motor, it will also stop cruise control, anything that you're currently doing, you'll be able to pedal backwards and then you just start over again. What happens if you flip? Is that waterproof? Yes, it is IP67, so it is submergible, it's water resistant, waterproof, so you're able to uh, not worry about dropping this in the drink and it not working after the fact. I saw you get stuck in the mud like a few times today. What happens if this thing gets fully stuck? Like Just like our other pedal drives, you can dock it just like that. But would the motor keep going? No, the motor will not keep going because this would go <laughs> Perfect, actually. Let's just just leave it there. Did we mention it? It's backed by a limited lifetime hull warranty. <laughs> nice, and the motor has two-year warranty as well. <laughs> and if you get stuck in the mud and the motor keeps turning, but it can't turn anymore, it will give you an error signal and turn off. I'm sorry. Well, I wasn't paying attention. Hey, what's up? I am Larry Milton, and Larry Milton Jr. is my channel. There you go. I'm gonna link it below. And look at this. This thing work right here. How heavy is it? It's not bad with two. And then yeah. they have a good double handle up front. If you want to learn more about it, I'm sure Alex is going to have all kinds of content on this boat. And you can also check us out at oldtownwatercraft.com. Well, thanks for being here, man. Yeah, Glad welcome. you enjoyed it. And um... Hey guys, we're going to have a lot of content covering this boat. We're going to do a water demo. We're going to have a full playlist covering the big water, EPDL, E4 Electric, 